This is HFMS Today, and I'm your host, Jillian McGeckern. Have you been contributing clothing for the collection? Here's Anna with the details. Hey HMS! I'm Anna, and I'm here to tell you a bit about the clothing drive happening here at HMS. Our very own Cradles to Crayons clothing drive will be taking place until May 21st. Until then, you will be able to donate new or used clothing into the clothing collection bins either near the Brown Gym or near the main office. These clothes will then be given to kids in need all around Massachusetts. Have a great Friday! Thank you for doing this, Anna. HMS does have a lot of great stuff, right, Mrs. Ben Benick? With little over a month left in the school year, you might be wondering how you're going to spend your free time this summer. Once you finish reading your books, complete some science enrichment experiments, and spend a few days daydreaming on the beach, you now have two months of nothing but time. Consider volunteering. Volunteering can provide a healthy boost to your self-confidence, self-esteem, and life satisfaction. Doing good for others and your community provides a natural sense of accomplishment. Volunteering can also give you a sense of pride and identity. Many in our HMS community already participate in service projects through scouting, religious organizations, with their families or on their own. If you already volunteer, I'd love to know more about what you do so we can celebrate your service and develop a list of opportunities. Send me an email or talk with me at lunch to share your volunteering ideas. Over the next few weeks, we'll share volunteering ideas that can be done both in person and remotely. This feature will be added to the student scoop, and maybe I'll even profile you in my next minute with the assistant principal. Thanks, Mrs. Ben Benick. And now, it's Fun Frack Friday time. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today, I am joined by Gigi. Welcome, Gigi. Hello, Mr. Rockwood. Great to be here. Did you know that people who read fiction possess an exquisite and robust lexicon or vocabulary, even more so than people who read nonfiction? That's fascinating. But why is that, Gigi? Simply because fiction usually relies on its wider vocabulary for a more interesting storyline, and nonfiction is stuck to informative and intellectual language to be more factual. Well, speaking of language, more people in the world have learned English as a second language than there are native English speakers. That's, that's super strange, Mr. Rockwood. Sticking with this theme, a pangram is a sentence that contains every letter in the language. For example, in English, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Well, thank you, Gigi, for assisting today. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and enhance your vocabulary by reading a great book this weekend. Very nice. Next up is question of the day, where Olivia asks, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject in school is um, definitely, definitely social studies because I got the best teacher in the world. Favorite subject is science because it's fun. I think I like science because you, you get to do a lot of hands-on activity. Math because there's numbers. My favorite school subject is probably science because you get to do a lot of activities. Uh, probably science. I've always liked history. I like World War II. Social studies because Mrs. Economo is like a second mom to me. Science because I really like Miss Genova. We always do like fun projects and stuff. Awesome. And now it's time for the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everyone! Finally, guess who's having a new talent show? Hi, HMS. Welcome back with another edition of the HMS Talent Show. The talent for this week is trick shots. For trick shots, you can do all sorts of things, such as a sport trick or a video game trick. You can also make it food related. You can use your own subject to make your own type of trick shot. We need you to send an email to hmstv at hillers.org with an attachment to the video of your trick shot. Please include your grade and full name in the email. We hope you participate. And that is the end of our show. Visit us at hms.today and email us at hmstv at hillers.org. See you next time.